So when you think of the Wii U, what is the first game that comes to mind? Mario Kart 8, Nintendo Land, Bayonetta, the incredible collection of virtual console classics on the eShop. Many people often judge the Wii U by how it performed in terms of sales. However, behind that was a truly amazing console that holds the test of time very, very well. Sure, the majority of its library has been ported to the Switch at this point, but that's only a testament as to how good the Wii U really was. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys five reasons why I still love the Wii U and why I still pick it up to this very day. I mean, just look, we got the Metroid Prime Trilogy. What is up my friends? It's Ray back here and today I'm going to be talking about the most underrated, underappreciated console of all time and one that I am forever synonymous with, the Nintendo Wii U. Many of you guys know a few years ago I won a pitch for Wii U video commercial contest with Nintendo. It was a pretty wild backstory behind the scenes trying to meet the deadline for that contest but it was no doubt a career highlight for me. The Wii U was one of those consoles that many people often overlooked and that video actually drew a lot of attention to the console. The problem with the Wii U wasn't the games because the library was there. It was more so its presentation. At the time, many people thought the Wii U was just a tablet or an extension of the original Wii. And that was mostly due to its name and the fact that the console itself actually kind of looks similar to that of the original Wii. More than anything, I believe those two examples are two great reasons why the Wii U didn't do too well in terms of sales because otherwise the console itself is truly great with an amazing library of games behind it. I mean, you could go back to playing original Wii games, so many classics on the virtual console. There's a lot to love about this thing. Before we continue on with this video though, I just want to remind you guys to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell notification icon so you can be notified by YouTube whenever I decide to live stream and upload new videos. There is so much content coming down the pipeline that I don't want you guys to miss a thing. So with that out of the way, let us get to this top five. First up, coming in at number one, is backwards compatibility. The fact that the Wii U can go back and play the entire catalog of Wii games, which might I add was a system that had one of the biggest library of games in general, is just truly amazing. But it doesn't just stop there, because you can go back even further and play games from the Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, and NES via the Virtual Console on the eShop. Needless to say, if you pick up a Wii U or already have one, there is quite a bit of Nintendo history for you to enjoy. Next up at number two, speaking of games, we have games. Now this was an area where the Wii U once struggled, but over time it really excelled. The system actually reminds me a lot of the GameCube, where the games were amazing, but the system itself was heavily underrated. From Super Smash Bros, to Splatoon, to Mario Kart 8, to Star Fox Zero, to The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, the Wii U was loaded with some of the best games last generation, and it's no wonder why the majority of them made their way to the Switch. It gives everyone who missed out on them a chance to actually dive into them. Going on further down the list at number three is the console design. Now this is an area that is very minor for some but very big for others. I fall into the latter category. I love the fact that the Wii U is small, compact, and sleek. It looks and feels like a premium device that fits perfectly into any setup. The only problem that I have with it is the fact that it's a fingerprint magnet due to that glossy finish but that's something that can be solved with a case on the gamepad. Speaking of the gamepad, that is next here on the list. Even though the gamepad is limited in its range and functionality, it was an amazing piece of tech at the time. The fact that it could mirror the gameplay on the big screen or provide a second touchscreen experience was really neat. The gamepad opened up a whole new world of possibilities, and it even made the Wii U kind of like the home console version of the Nintendo DS with those dual screens. It also allowed you to turn off your TV and use just the gamepad to play on. In many ways, it it's easy to see the parallels between the gamepad and the Nintendo Switch. And finally, drum roll please, we have the final reason why I love the Wii U in 2021, and that my friends is innovation. Like I said in many of my other Wii U videos, Nintendo always likes to try new things, and that is very obvious here. The Wii U really was ahead of its time in terms of bringing that second screen experience to life. Today we have a lot of TV shows and content that integrate both your smartphone and the TV. TV. 
TV. So nowadays, you kind of always have that second screen experience. The Wii U was kind of a similar concept. The more that you think about it, the more you realize that the Wii U was Nintendo testing the waters for that hybrid home console mobile setup that ultimately in the end became the Nintendo Switch. At the end of the day, the Switch is no doubt what Nintendo wanted the Wii U to be. The gamepad was awesome, but it was limited in many ways, especially since it had to be tethered to the console. However, without the Wii U, would we have even gotten the Switch? While the Wii U didn't fare too well in terms of sales, it more than made up for it in its innovation. Those who bought it absolutely loved it. Even though the majority of Wii U games have already been ported to the Switch at this point, I'm always going to recommend going back to the Wii U. From the unique gamepad to the amazing library of games to the excellent collection of Virtual Console Classics on the eShop, there's a lot to love about the Wii U, even to this very day in 2021. Anywho, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. And until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Peace!